Shalom La Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahweh Shai. Squid Dama Anas and Elsa GMS. Anas and Yahakim. Peace and bless you, brothers and sisters. Listen, hope for the light. 2024, we're here. 2024, man. Apostle Tahar coined it the year of. Oh, for yeah, Jacob's trouble. Right. Matter of fact, we'll start out with J Jeremiah, the 30th chapter. Then. We'll start out, man. We already did video reports, news reports, videos already for 2024. A lot has happened, man, in these last couple of days. <coughs> From the, uh, the Iranian general shooting Ohio. Uh, shit just happening every day. Earthquake at NYC, which they're real silent about. <coughs> right? You had that. Of course, you had uh, the whole Epstein list is coming out. A lot of motherfuckers under the microscope. Demonic, ugly ass Whoopi Goldberg talking about she didn't go. Bitch, she was there, man. Who's there? Damn, Dyke, man. She was there, man. All right? Miley Cyrus, Akon, yeah. Chris Tucker. Yeah, doing all manner evil, man. The truth coming out on all of you, man. They show you that world, they all exposing each other. Right. See, that's it. That's it. Satan's kingdom is divided. That's so the fourth. Yeah, the because tongue fall apart himself. Not all the elites are on the same page. Just like you have uh, disputes amongst gang members, it's the same thing in the elite, man. Huh? If they could get over on each other, knock this guy out the way, they'll do that. Because Epstein was a part of the club. They got rid of him. The no honor among thieves. Because he had blackmail on everybody. He has footage on everybody. Okay. And plus, in order to get to his um, his uh. His island, you have to take a special plane, the Lolita Express. We did videos on his back in 2017, before he, the story even blew. We're doing videos on these, these characters and a whole piece of scandal. Right? And people saying that's conspiracy. Well, it's a conspiracy fact. All right? All these guys in high positions are pedos, man. And you can throw TD Snake's ass in there. You fucking trying to get people videos pulled because you're guilty, man. Let the, the, the truth was. The truth will defend itself, man. The truth will defend you, man. Okay, but you're doing your best to pay whatever money behind the scenes to get videos pulled because you're guilty. Okay? How about Shami Al Shah bringing everything out in 2024, man? And the year just started. Of course, you had that Jacob maul that damn hyena judge, you know, up there uh, playing God with people's lives, man. You know? Spread of the Lord came, like the scripture says, Spread of the Lord came mighty upon Samson. <laughs> he got like 0.002% of the power. He fucking sprinted up there and le leapt over that damn bench perfectly, man. Mm -hmm. Right? He got a good, like brother said, he got a good little 10, 10 seconds. seconds. You know, ground and, ground and pound. <laughs> ground and yeah. pound. Because he was on the floor for a minute. Yeah. We, we didn't get to see what he was doing. Because he, I think he had any probably He said, bitch, what the fuck is wrong with you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause when you look at the whole uh, 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 Heron, she was getting smart. He was giving his like, yo, I'm trying to change my life. Just got a new job. You know, I have my little ups and downs, my hiccups, but for the most part, I'm on her. And she's like, nah, you're gonna get a taste of something else. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah. I don't believe nothing. I don't believe the BS is coming out your mouth. You saying he got mental issues? He's working on it. And these judges don't believe anything you Jake's saying, man. They throw the book at you, man. But like we say, you got these guys in high positions that's goddamn pedos, man, and running sex trafficking rings. Yeah. So how come the how come Epstein and uh, his girlfriend, Ghislaine Maxwell, she got locked up? Where are all these other people that was going on? How come they ain't get locked up, man? Mm. How come they ain't get thrown the book at them? See? So you guys, you're not no righteous judges, man. You're all in these people back pockets, man. So that's why the Spirit of the Lord... None of you people in high positions are safe either, man. That spirit of civil war is in the air, man. Okay? And y'all gonna get touched too. Alright, what you got? Jeremiah chapter 30. I mean, I started verse 4. Come on. Come on. Verse 4. <clears throat> and these are the words that the Lord Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shai, spake concerning Israel and concerning Judah. You know, both kingdoms. Right. Israel being the northern kingdom, Ephraim and Don Issachar, Judah being the southern kingdom. Judah, Benjamin, Levi, you know, Negroes, you know, West Indians, Haitians, Ephraim, Don Iscar, so Puerto Rican, the land of so Mexicans. <clears throat> Verse uh, 5, for thus saith the Lord, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, we have heard a voice of trembling, of fear, and not of peace. You guys was coming, uh, trembling, fear. Excuse me, what, there's no peace until I say it to the wicked. Weeping right. a gnash of teeth. That's right. 
it was, you know, the people gonna be hollering. Trip says men are gonna. What tells you that? Yeah, they are gonna be like travailing women. Yeah. Men yeah. gonna be like women out here, yeah. hiding behind a woman. All right, it's gonna be bad out here, man. Okay. All right, go ahead. Verse six. <clears throat> Ask ye now and see whether a man doth travail with child. Wherefore do I see every man with his hands on his loins as a woman in travail, and all faces are turned into paleness. Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble. Which the Bible also calls what? The hour of temptation. So most I will bring upon all the world, man. Which he's just going to open the floodgates of death. Things have been going up and down, fluctuating. That's the rhythm of prophecy. Because we in grace. But we're coming to the time now where things are just going to continue to keep going up. Until you how shall return. It's going to be one after another, after another, after another. That scripture says he's going to cut the time short, man. There's no flesh going to be left to save. And he's totally going to unleash Esau out here, man. All right? And the whole point of Jacob's trouble really is to get at the two-thirds. Mm -hmm. But everybody going to get hit. Everybody, man. Okay? Everybody, man. It's going to be judgment all around. This is this what we, we, we come out here and we prophesy. That's what you, the prophet's supposed to be saying anyway. We're blowing the trumpet, blowing the trumpet in Zion, man. Telling our people to get their act together, man. Because like we read that precept last week, it's going to come a time where the Most High is going to turn away his face. And he says mercy is going to depart. His grace. This is the grace period, man. All right? So that the scripture says it's going to be a day like none other. The time of Jacob's trouble. Let's read on. <clears throat> it's verse 7, reading on. But he shall be saved out of it. Oh, the elect, the remnant. The remnant, not everybody. Right, he's not going to do what he did in times past, deliver the whole nation. Two thirds going to perish right here. They're going to, the scripture says, let's get it, Amos 9 and 10. Right, Brett, anything more you want to go on that? No, that was it. Yeah, so who's going to be saved? The remnant. It's all about the remnant. Those that return back to you, how about Shemuel Shah? Not Jesus. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's not the man's name, man. It's time to get it right, man. All right, the Most High deals with perfection, man. And he have his men, like you even had that Edomite woman press. Yo, you guys can't that's see that's your how was shy, man. What the fuck does the Edomite woman know about the name, man? And you had the other uh, clueless Eve. What's his name? What's his name? His name is Yahweh was shy. They couldn't even pick up on the spirit in the room, man. Lord could put the spirit on anybody, man. He, could, he put the spirit on a donkey. He put the spirit on the uh, Eve, these nations. Everybody's pressing you guys on the name. All right? That means the Lord going to move on IUIC, man. Okay? Let's read on. It's the book of Amos chapter 9 and verse 10. It says, All the sinners of my people shall die by the sword. We say the evil shall not overtake nor prevent us. Come here, all the sinners of Jacob. All right, two thirds. All right, we say that you know the, the, the days are, are are not at hand. All right, what's that? Ezekiel twelve, the proverb in Israel. Mm -hmm. Y'all believe that it's not going to happen. The day of the Lord is not going to happen in your lifetime. All right, you're atheists. You don't believe there is no Mosai. I'm just going to say, you know, you're going to perish with that mindset. Sure. So it says. I mean, that was that was it. Quick reset. Yeah. Sirach 12 and 6 For the most high hate of sinners And will repay vengeance Unto the ungodly And keep with them against the mighty day Of their punishment Right, You can't be a little more man. Okay. Go to the sinners of my people Shall die by the sword All right, Because all you Israelites out there That's into uh, adultery Idolatry, sorcery Witchcraft, smoking weed Being niggas, saggy pants and ankles all right, all type of evil you niggas take selling their souls, fame, and fortune. Most likely gonna kill you, man. Gonna kill all of you. Cause he what? He hate of sinners, man. All right. Oh, you know what they say in church? Oh, oh, sorry, he hates the sin, not the no. He hates sinners. All right. Well, sinners are those that literally just willingly just going off. They don't fear him. You get that, sir? I think it's twelve and six. Yeah, I just read it through the spirit. Oh, read it again. Yeah. Can I read it again? Sir, I twelve and six. For the most high hate of sinners, and will repay vengeance to the ungodly. And keep with them against the mighty day of their punishment. I'm gonna get Psalms 5 and 4. Yeah. The most high, he's slow to anger, but the scripture said he don't acquit the wicked. That's right. All right, nobody's gonna escape. And if you were dead and you were wicked as hell, like we always bring up and bring out through the spirit, 
second death. You're gonna your spirit gonna get put right back down in your your body, and you're gonna taste the, um, that fire, man. You're not gonna escape either, man. Nobody's gonna escape, man. Right? So what's the message? Like we've been pushing, like we've been pushing, to fear the Lord, man. That's right. Okay? You gotta fear him, man. And how do you fear the most high? You do what he tells you to do. Alright? The most high commanded us to repent, to turn to him, turn from your wicked, evil ways. Alright? Seek him ten times more. Obviously rehearse the righteous acts. And above all, have faith in the Son. That's right. And to hold on, man. Endure, man. Whatever comes your way, man. That's what he commanded us to do. Yeah. Okay? Commanded us to do that, man. Right, but let's read on though. Psalms 5, verse 4. For thou art not a power that have pleasure in wickedness, neither shall evil dwell with thee. Mm, can you read it? Verse 5. The foolish shall not stand in thy sight. Thou hatest all workers of iniquity. Yeah, iniquity is sin upon sin. So scripture says he hates the workers of iniquity. You say the most I don't hate. Yeah. Let's read it. So anybody that's doing sin upon sin upon sin, he hates you. Okay? And you're going to meet your end. However he sees fit. Alright? So the Most High hates sinners. Okay? It tells you. Let's get us. I think the second is the 16th chapter. Yeah. I think it was like in the 70s around there. Alright? Most High ain't playing, man. It's 2024 already came in crazy. This is why now more than ever, you got to stay on your watch. Alright? Shit that you got away with in 2022, 2023. You can't get away with it now. And the spirit is always changing. It's always evolving. Yeah. So you got to change with it. Because we all got to work on ourselves, man. Yeah. Right. You see that brother that got put to death and, and he was going to camp. See, obviously he wasn't working on himself. Right? One of his struggles was alcoholism and other things. And he's doing these things before coming to camp. And the most High probably gave him leeway for him to change his ways and, and to repent. And he wasn't taking heed to the brother's warnings. And the Most High smitten with say He didn't take heed to it. All right? So what happened now? Well, the scripture tells you, let's get it, Proverbs 15 and 10. All right? That was the whole point of the grace. Okay? I've given you grace. I've given you time to get right. We ain't taking heed to the correction. All right, cool. The next step is we're going to read it now. Proverbs 15 verse 10. Correction is grievous unto him that forsake the way, and he that hateth reproof shall die. There you go. Just that simple. Man. Hate being reproved or corrected, you ain't taking heed, you're gonna die, man. That's it. Playtime is over, man. Alright? What did uh, King David like, what did yeah, King David what say? It's like it, uh, King David he said, uh um, um let the righteous man smite me, and it should be a kindness, man. You know, so you can repeat from the brothers. That's a kindness. That's a love for open better than my secret love. You mean right. picking up? That's your Howard Shai. Yeah. You stop effing around, man. Yeah. Stop doing this. Stop doing that. Your representation of me, man. You can't be just getting drunk everywhere, getting into fights, this, that, and the third. Whatever bullshit you're doing, man. Coming to camp drunk, man. That's against the law, man. Let's say Leviticus 10 and 9. Let's get that. You can't be doing that, man. Like we said, you probably got away with it for a couple of years. You know? Because you're doing a work, the Lord giving you grace. Like you said, every all of us under judgment, man. She said, judgment going to begin at the house of the Lord, man. We all in a microscope. The scriptures say he's going to search Jerusalem. Let's get that. Zephaniah 1 and 12. All right? So, like we said, things that you got away with in times past, not anymore, man. Like when Hallelujah, I was was searching the churches out. Yeah. Certain things they did that was beautiful. He said, but this I have such against you, man. He said, repent quickly. I'm going to take, take that yeah. candlestick away from you. Yeah. Right? I'm going to take your understanding away. I'm going to take that light away. Like the guy in Boston who fell out, Lord took the, whatever reason, he took that candlestick away from him. Man. Okay? Whatever weird old reason, I'm teaching that. And that's worthy of death. Teaching false doctrine is death, man. Yeah. You're a false prophet. Teaching the Gentiles could be saved. Where, man? And what multiverse are you talking about, man? All right? Gentiles could never be saved to other nations, man. The Gentiles that promised repentance are the Israelites, man, that fell away. The wild olive tree that's being grafted back in. All right, Moabite can't be saved. An Edomite, they're not going to receive. And what's saved? Salvation when Yahweh shall return, man. 
being beamed up, changed, taking part of the new covenant, conquering death, immortality. That's what you're saying that the other nations could inherit? Are you crazy, man? And it makes no sense. Because you make I, no sense, man. How are we going to get redeemed and saved from our enemies if our enemies coming with us? So we get saved from them, yes. then we're going to bring them with us. Like, come with us. like we said, no. Bill Gates could, could be saved. Henry Kissinger could be saved. <laughs> that means uh, Bill Gates' children could repent. Fucking uh, the Rothschilds, their grandchildren could repent. Trump children could repent. John Podesta. The Podesta brothers, they could repent. They all could repent. Vladimir Putin could repent. What the hell are you talking about, man? You're crazy as hell, man. All right? You gave up your crown. She said, Don't, we did a video on that. To give your honor to a strange nation. Man. That's what you're doing, man. All right, let's read that. This is Sirach chapter 35. In verse 18, it says, For the Lord would not be slack, neither would the mighty be patient toward them, till he have smitten and sundered the loins of the unmerciful and repaid vengeance to the heathen, mm -hmm. till he have taken away the multitude of the proud and broken the, the scepter of the unrighteous. Yeah, like I tell you, Isaiah 14. He's breaking into his rulership right now. <clears throat> That's why all these secrets is coming out. Right? The scripture tells you, limitations, let's get that, limitations, 422. I saw they exposing each other, man. You know, would you? Even if it is a sight, because we have to be. But that's the elite against the elite. In some regards. For you to leak Epstein list, why? Right? That shows that the, the moral decline of America, Babylon, yeah, yeah. the society just finished. So they, they they working against each other behind closed doors, man. Okay? That's right, but the scripture says it's really a limitation for God. This is the book of Lamentations, chapter 4, verse 22. The punishment of thy iniquity is accomplished, O daughter of Zion. Yeah, Aka Adaka is, a, is up, meaning right. we're not going into captivity anymore. That's why he gave us the truth. That's why he showed us Yahweh Shai. All right? That's why we received it, man. That's the three days and a half. Mm. So our captivity is already up. All right? He's going to give this devil one last time to do his thing. And the brother just read it. That's called Jacob's trouble. He's just going to totally unchain him. That's really to get at the two thirds, man. All right, but our captivity is up already, man. All right, read on. God. It says, "O daughter of Zion, he would no more carry thee away into captivity." Yeah, this is America's the last captivity. All right, go ahead. He will visit thine iniquity, O daughter of Edom. Edomites. All right, you see them walking up and down here, man. Living in high places, servants upon horses. Some fucking female judge, man. That's out of order, man. That's, that's wickedness. That's crazy out of order, man. And there's always these fucking females are judges, man. They show you, I shot, you just gotta go, man. You're not right. fit to rule, man. The judges were men. They were always men, man. Right. That's right. Okay? There will be no female judge in our kingdom. There will be no queens in our kingdom, man. There will be princesses, which is daughters of the king. And that's it. No goddesses. Yeah, damn sure ain't gonna be no goddesses. <laughs> we just catch any heathen talking about goddess. You're gonna be put down, man. Yeah. Ain't no husband gonna call his wife a goddess. Your right? queen, my queen. Right? You, he Talk gonna get that. put down, man. That's simple. My woman, man. That's simple, man. Yeah. Okay. That queen That's of heaven cool. vibration gonna be is gonna be out of here, man. Yeah. That's gonna go up in flames with this kingdom. All right, go ahead. So it says. <clears throat> oh, that was that was that was the whole thing. I got the Zephaniah. No, no, keep reading. Keep reading. Oh, it's like it's like. <clears throat> this is uh, Lamentation chapter 4 in verse tw uh, 22 again. The punishment of thy iniquity is accomplished, O daughter of Zion. He will no more carry thee away into captivity. He will visit thy iniquity, O daughter of Edom. He will discover thy sins. Again. Remember, O Lord, what is come upon us. Consider and behold our reproach. Our inheritance is turned to strangers, our houses to aliens. We are orphans and fatherless. Our mothers are as widows. That's Lamentation 4-1. Oh, it's like it. That was chapter 5 now. Verse 22 is the last chapter. Well, when it says, that shall uh, make thyself naked. Okay, that's the verse. Yep. So I'm going to jump up. Uh, um, 21, yep. So chapter, Lamentation chapter 4, and verse 21. Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom, that dwellest in the land of Uz. Yeah, right here. That was one of their dwelling places, you know, that's America now. It's nothing new under the sun. Yeah. Right? This is the main place of their, their rulership. Babylon. Right? And King David, like we said, all the scriptures just line together perfectly. King David called y'all the daughter of Babylon. Before Babylon 
before the Neo Babylonian Empire even came back into power, when Nebuchadnezzar, King David prophesied back then, he called y'all the daughter of Babylon, right? And that's the fact, y'all ruling this place right now, man. All right, go ahead. It says, Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom, that dwellest in the land of Uz. The cup also shall pass through unto thee. So slavery, oppression, death, destruction, all right? Captivity, everything. Everything we drunk, you're going to get a double portion. Mm. Read on. It says, Thou shalt be drunken. You're going you're gonna to be drunken. I'm ready right now, y'all drunken. Egypt, man, tells you now, Isaiah 19. All right? Go ahead. Thou shalt be drunken and shalt make thyself naked. That's why they're turning on each other, man. You're exposing each other, man. All right? Like we said, this Epstein thing, that's a big thing, man. Because these are all people that's in power. And they show you that they're what? They're all sexual deviants. Yeah. They're running your country. Passing running, your running laws. the country, man. Signing the checks. Signing your bills and all these things, man. What the fuck put, is this? Putting this law to effect all these different... And behind closed doors, they freaking off the children, man. Freaking off, blood. freaking off the children, man. Barack Obama. All right. All right. Michael Obama. Clinton went there for 20 times. He's a president of the fucking country, man. Mm -hmm. Trump. Trump. He was, right. he was best friends with Epstein. They yeah. were buddies. All these guys. Of course, Beyonce, Jay-Z, fucking Jay-Z. You're another one the Lord gonna get your ass to. Miley Cyrus, wicked ass. Yeah, you know, she ain't she. Oprah. Oprah. Oprah the dyke. Okay. Whoopi Goldberg. And fucking Whoopi Goldberg. When I seen that, I was like, God damn. These people are That's evil, crazy. man. Evil niggas, man. Akon. Akon, I man. see you creeping and see you see, see through the shadows. That guy. Locked up, no letter. He was there. So, so he... Man. What were you doing there? A business deal? I think you were taking part in the, the rituals, man. Eminem! Eminem was there! What is, what is Slim Shady doing there, man? Chris Tucker. I didn't even know you were still alive. <laughs> Chris Cat Tucker. Yeah, Cat Williams getting on all yeah, you he niggas. He got on all of them, man. You evil niggas who took the bag, man. He said Michael Jackson called Chris Tucker Christmas. Christmas? Yeah. That's what said for among my people are found wicked, wicked men. And their deeds have passed the wicked. That's, that's what I got there, man. They identical with I saw. You can't tell the difference between these niggas and these Edomites anymore, man. Jake is far to the left, man. This will be getting on Eve, talking about what's a high value man, talking all this shit. And this bitch got over 2,000 bodies, man. She said, men or women, diamond or whatever. And you ain't a fucking diamond, man. Okay? He yeah. says, you a dreg. You're, you're tin and rust. Yeah. Matter of fact, listen, Ezekiel, let's get that Ezekiel 22. 22, you got it. 16, you ain't no fucking diamond, man. Right? You dirt. You, you, a, you, a, you a, a, a land that's greatly defiled. Get that scripture, uh, call it counting the spittle. So, Syria 25 and 26. Right? That bitch is spit. <laughs> and that's a, and she'll get treated as such. Yeah. Woman like that, you don't treat with honor and respect. But she, Woman like she, that, you call her her name. Yeah, she had the audacity to say, what's a high value, man? Right? Only in America, man. That's Only how the strong, that's the demon of delusion, man. Right. Okay? Just be a quiet hoe. Just shut up, man. Don't say nothing, man. Right. Women like that literally get spit on. Yeah. And they enjoy it. Spit on, golden showers. Yeah, like yeah. Spit the breast of spit. Spit in the mouth. Golden showers. Shit it on in face. Dubai. You know, you know what I mean? Leash around the names, neck. You know? You know what I mean? Just she all she would love that shit. Yeah, all man and evil, ass, man. Yeah. And she said woman too. But you up there saying what's a high value, man. Talking about city jobs, firefighters. That bitch burning in the fire. We're gonna come in there and save your ass, man. You dumbass, man. Men that men men build the society that you walk with. She said construction workers. That's crazy. Yo, these women are crazy. Yo, these women are crazy, man. That's why you brothers like talk about you know you go oh I don't got a woman woman ain't yo man the most I should be thinking yeah how about shit me how you shine man right uh -huh. that he shielded and protected you man mm -hmm. from these demons out here man these succubus out here man oh there's a video a woman literally said it how she's a succubus to good men she said those spiritual men they're not be Christians but like those are spiritual and like they when they know they worth and they purpose and it's like it's like why are you so good I gotta, I gotta, uh, she said, I gotta destroy him. I gotta, and she said, she, so they, they literally uh, feed off that good energy that's in the brothers. She's, she's elite. She's, she's elite. She, she said that. But she the scripture says, if a, a guy, um, 
you could know a harlot by his eyelids. By, by, yeah, by her eyelids, yeah, by her so, looks. Yeah, so looks. If, if you're in the spirit, you see she she just being wayward and she's not right. right. You cut her ass off, like yeah. Sirach said. Yeah, right. it's like it. That's what the woman said. And a lot of them, they can see through a bullshit and it never works with them. Those are spiritual men. Men that spiritual, whatever, with more likely, those probably men that probably of the elect, whatever, the and, beast, probably move with and, wisdom, she yeah. can't get them. And if a brother, if a brother can't see, naive, because he probably not, you know, experienced a woman, the Lord will come in. The Lord will come in. Mm. Right? Yeah. And he'll, he'll, yeah. 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 They will have a get hit by a bus. Yeah. Some shit. You just can't see it no more. You're like, damn, man. I was just, damn, man. I was feeling that was bitch. Feeling her, man. The Lord was, was like, nah. 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 See, now she can't walk no more. Yeah, yeah. Like, oh, yeah. You know? That was the most high looking out. You didn't know that. She get fired. He, yeah, he that pleases the most high, what? Shall escape, escape him, him, man. That's right. So the most high came in, man. Like, your big brother, your Howard Shai, intervened. Yeah. You know what I mean? Knows best. He knows the best for you, man. Exactly. You're one of his men. Yeah. Some things you may not notice, like, damn. You know, I pick up, yeah. Yeah, you may be naive to that, you yeah. know? Because like, like, like the brother said, through the spirit, like, you may not have that experience with women, you know? So you may not even know, you know, that she's trying to... You don't you know, then most have a... You say your works together, she get fired. You gotta live closer, she moves. You know what I'm saying? It's something happens, she get... She dies. <laughs> most I can take her out. You know, you ain't, you ain't, you ain't fuck with my man. You know, that's, that's my son right there. You know what I'm saying? I'm the, you know, but the devil, like, damn, man, she just died. For just, me, just intervene on your behalf. You're in the kingdom, you'll know. Like, damn. You know? She, she gonna get brought to you being like the 2,000th woman brought to you. You know, the most I revealed. Well, that's the one I took from you back then because she was going to destroy you, man. Yeah, <laughs> you know? Sure, that was, a, that was in our mind. That was the building. So, like, the brother, the water you out by Shemar Shah, keeping it from these sucker besides sluts. He kept, he kept you away. These women, these women down there, and they so addicted to attention, they exposing themselves. Yeah. They're telling you men what they're about now, yeah. man. Before, you kind of you kind of really didn't know. A lot you of the men back, up. you had to. Because women, men were the most the ones that were telling you the things that they were doing. Yeah. Because women were sick, but they in love with the camera. Mm -hmm. They in love with the views. They in love with what validation, and they exposing themselves. Because this world is so backwards, they yeah. say these things and yeah. get praised for yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But not, not the minute of the Lord. We see through that. You a slut. You a hoe. That's wrong. Whatever. But the world praise them. Like, yeah, you go, sis. You know, yeah, shake that ass for the camera. Do your thing. Be yourself. Let it be independent and free. You know what I'm saying? Whole time. She going on that, that broad way to lead to death and destruction. They get on Jonathan. It's a wicked ease. They get on Jonathan Major because of the white woman. You bitches ain't no different. We just talk about some you black bitch right woman. now. Fucking uh, Kiki Palmer. Look what she said about her husband. Yeah. Did she openly say, um, "I don't need a nigga. All I need is a bag." All right? Did she say that? That's an Eve. Yeah. Oh look! Oh look at wicked Jada Pinkett. Oh man. Right, so you rather deal with that eat a white woman than deal with a Jada Pickett any day of the week, any day of the week, yeah. man. Right, deal with Satan's daughter than deal with Jada Pickett, man. All right, Jada Pickett is Satan, man. All right, what you got? This is a Sirach, Ecclesiastes, God's chapter 26, and verse 22. And harlot shall be accounted as spittle. Yeah, so she spit. I know she's not gonna make it, there's no healing. You, Sukihana, sexy reds. Party bees, it's, it's no healing, y'all, man. All right. Who says you counted a spittle? Shit. Like we said, we scratching that. We still trying to figure out how the hell she's an Israelite, but you know, how is that a Jew, man? That's a Jew, man. You know, that's mind-boggling, man. Brittany Reiner, like how, man? But that's the curses, All right? Who says your wife shall what be a harlot in the city? All right, and the thing is, like we said, they are harder than they, they have no shame, uh, they proud. All right, what you got? And a quick one, so, this sorry. 2024, a lot of people gonna be judged, man. That's right, death certificates gonna be getting handed out all year, man. A lot of y'all deaths are getting written in the spiritual realm right now, man. It's gonna play out, man. All right, what you got? There's a little more, so yes, yeah, like it. So, right, when you jump down to verse 25, right? So, right, 26 25. It says, a shameless woman shall be uh, counted as a dog. Yeah. You read that yeah. in the, um, I believe this is a GNT. Let me see what this is. This is a GNT. Sirach 26 and verse um, 25 in the GNT, the Good News Translation. A self-willed woman is a bitch, but a woman with sense of decency honors the Lord. So the women are bitches, man. Oh, you cursing? That's in the Bible. It's a female dog. You're a female dog. You're self-willed. Do whatever you want to do. Yeah. She says, one time. One time. High minded. Yeah. Can't take no correction. That's why, the, yeah, accountability 
is their kryptonite. They don't want to take no accountability for their actions. Right? The most high gonna correct you, man. You being corrected by the way the prophet. He's gonna break your pride. He's gonna embarrass you. He's gonna shame you. And he's gonna destroy most of you. All right, most of you, man. Yeah. And the same Israelite man that you look down upon, you have to come groveling at his feet in order yeah. to be saved. Yeah. That's Tears. the only way yeah. you're gonna make it out of here. Tears and snot come from their face. What are you oh, begging, grabbing your shoes? Yeah, yeah. You know, grabbing your garment, latching on. Please, you kicking your no. But please, I'll do anything, please. You know, I, I could take care of myself. I could, you know, make my own clothes. I could. You remember that evil Eve? When uh, I think it was a Nigerian couple. Remember? And she bowed to him to propose. And she said it with hatred, like, "Don't do oh, yeah. ever." She's like, "That's the never had happened." Yeah, yeah. I was like, "Yo, that's a super feminist." Yeah, yeah. You know, and remember that, that a lot of Eves are mad with uh, Simone Biles' husband because he said he's the prize. Mm. They say he didn't really know it like that, and she's the one who hit him up. Mm. And he said, and then the guy said, "So you were the catch?" She said, "Yeah, I always tell men you're the prize." And then you had a whole lot of Eves a bit online. It was like, "I would never deal with a man who don't think I'm the prize." Well, you're not gonna make it. We tell you that right now. Yeah. You ain't gonna make it, man. Right? If you don't look at the Israelite man like a prize, you're gonna burn right here, man. Right. No feminist is gonna get beamed up, not one, man. Right? If you don't accept the man as your lord, as your master, you're gonna die, right. man. <laughs> That's it, man. That's right. What you got? I think you a few. I got, I got, I'm, I'm gonna grab this one in my. It's the same. Oh, same. Like you had that nasty Tsukihana, what she said? 2024 tag a Hebrew Israelite. That's one thing she said that was a fact, man. Yeah. All right? The Israelite man, the Hebrew Israelite man is following Yahweh by Shem Shah. He is the prize, man. Look at that as well. All right? What you got? This is Micah chapter 7, verse 10. It says, Then she that is my enemy shall see it. What is she going to see? What is Eve going to see? Mm. That the men of the Lord, they're the true, they're, 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 they're the prize, they're the high value man. So it says, Then she that is my enemy shall see it, and shame shall cover her, which said unto me, Where is the Lord thy power? Yeah, yeah, because you see, they didn't believe it. This is fairy tales, fiction. Their God is what money. Their God is a so called white man. Yeah. All right? Because he has opened up the world to them, man. The serpent, man. You know, you could be uh, uh, in, making six figures a year, being a damn harlot. Holy fans, model this, that, and the third, blah, blah, blah. And they talking shit on other guys, man. They can sell pictures of their toes. Yeah, doing yeah. all manner of evil. These bitches doing all manner of evil, man. And they think, think we said, they're not, not only doing the evil, but they proud about it, man. All right? And that's what, yeah, like we said, the scripture says, shame shall cover her. And the most high bring the society down, cyber attacks, EMPs, disasters, disease breaking out, civil unrest, sedition, internet down, that means social media down, fa automatic famine, money ain't worth nothing, right? So that means what? They won't be able to get no tampons, won't get no perfume, all right? No oil, well y'all don't even use oil, y'all not even on that level, all right? You won't be able to get no more weaves, no more fillers, no more Botox, none of that. All right, no more makeup, man. Mm. You're gonna you're gonna smell. You're gonna have that stench. Mm. That mask is gonna be off. That's Isaiah the third chapter. He's gonna strip you down and make you naked. All right, humble your ass down. Yup. All the niggas that you that were, you were tricking and using, a lot of them gonna die. Okay, a lot of get sent off in the war. A lot of them gonna be dead in the streets. All right. Then you're gonna realize, shit. I need a I need a man of the Lord, man. Okay, but it's gonna be too late. All right, what you got? Micah chapter 7 verse 10 it says in shame shall cover her which said unto me where is the Lord thy power yeah walking past the camp laughing bums bums yeah. you know that's that's what they going but it's going the joke going to be on you that's what scripture said what he how was trying to say was in Luke 6 25 26 we want you that laugh now and then that's when the scripture we got that problem the first chapter I will mock you when your fear coming the men of the Lord going to mock you Right? We're going to be like Elijah in that time. Let's just to get up off your knees, man. You better than that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we're going to be mocking. Yeah, yeah. That's right. You're a queen, sister. This is unbefitting for a queen. Get up off your knees. You know what I mean? Stop begging. Stop. Wipe that snot off your nose, sister. You better than this. Just look up and go. Man, it's gone. Get the fuck out of here, bitch. You know what I mean? It's trash, you know? We always joke about it, but it's gonna be a fact. 
your number gonna be all be ahead, man. You're not gonna know. But we gonna we gonna see like how was shy. Right? He said you had four husbands. He said you had five husbands, right? right? So he knew. So the man of the Lord gonna know, man. She said, I can see thou a prophet. Yeah. No? He a man of the Lord. I didn't know I had 2,586 bodies. What the fuck? How did he know this? That's I'm crazy. Tell him the Instagram name. <laughs> Ooh, Sky Breezy underscore. Their OnlyFans name? Yep, yep. Throat goddess or some shit, you know? Throat slut. Yeah, deep throat goddess. Yep, yep. Nasty, man. Nasty bitch. We're yeah. gonna tell you that, man. You can always try to tell you what. Yeah. They were trying to come call that they were righteous and modest and shalom, brother. Shalom, shalom. So, you know? Yep, yep. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna lie to Arthur You know, they're gonna be rehearsing. Yeah, they're gonna be in there. Yep, yeah, rehearsing. Yeah, yeah. Put on they, uh, they veil. Try to act all. Like, hey, bitch, get the fuck out of here. Yeah, they're, they're, Yo, deep throat goddess underscore six six six. I know. Right? Yeah. yeah, yeah, we gonna yeah, we gonna we gonna see right through yeah, you, yeah, man. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? What you got? Mm. Oh, I got it. Luke. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Luke six and verse twenty five. Woe unto you that are full, for ye shall hunger. Woe unto you that laugh now, for ye shall mourn and weep. Man, these people are here, man. They they just, man. Hunger, man. Right? It's going to be a major fat, epic famine. What did Ezra say? A, the time of great famine and death, yeah, man. Great mornings. The beginning of sorrows. Woo. You know what that's the beginning? If you think about it, the famine, what would that lead to? Cannibalism. That is the, the famine is the beginning. That's the start. Damn it, kicking no food. How we go? You know? Major cities. No trucks bringing food to your local grocery stores, local uh, Krugers and Sam Clubs and Walmarts and BJs and Costco's. So people gonna start fucking up. You know, how we gonna get food? You gotta go door to door, house to house. Once that runs out, now what? Now what? They've been eating weeks, days, fucking hungry, man. Barely finding water. You know, they gonna try to take the water from the rivers and try to keep dying. You know, <laughs> they, they gonna they gonna start eating people, man. Okay, that's in the scriptures. Cannibalism. Understand that? But it's what the Lord said for His elect. Uh, My servant shall eat. In Isaiah 65 verse 13. But ye shall be hungry. Man. So we don't know how the most are gonna feed brothers through the spirit. We don't but know. We don't but we do know he will. You know, we don't know how. But we just read the counts of, of old. How he fed Elijah by the ravens, how the food didn't run out. You know, he fed us in the wilderness, manna from heaven, open he, water came from a rock. And we know that rock is Yahweh Shah. That rock is Yahweh Shah. And we got the living waters from Yahweh Shah, that rock. So we have what we need because the scripture goes what? There should be a thirst for wine in the streets. So this wisdom, first and foremost, the bread alone. Man should not live above bread alone. Of every word that proceeded out of the mouth of the most high. So this is really making us alive. So that uh, that's going to lead to us actually getting physically fed as well. Us sticking with this truth, man. Believing in Yahweh Bashim Al-Shai. Believing in the miracles. Because what else are we going to believe in? We have nothing. Bro, we in America. This place is just, it's through. You know? It's destined for destruction. But we here, the prophets are in the belly of the beast, man. And we got faith that most of the deliverance are the belly of the beast. Miraculous things gonna come as well. Well, miraculous things. Man. So it says, Sirach 36 is gonna show new signs. New signs. Oh, he's gonna, he's gonna do greater works. That's what it says. It's not gonna be people not gonna talk about ancient Egypt. Right. We're gonna talk about this deliverance right here. Mm -hmm. Right. The, like we said, the most sides are ultimate Jake. So we're not just gonna be, you know, how like Nate said, Jacob's trouble. Then. What did he say? He said World War Three. World War Three, and we just gonna get yeah, beamed yeah, up. You're yeah, crazy, yeah, man. Yeah. Now he chance to change up. Took talking about CBDC and all his other things. Come on, man. Tell what the underground shit he got underground yeah. tunnels, some shit he's talking about. Right. Railroad. He said railroad. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking yeah. railroad, man. Have faith. Man. Have faith, man. All right? We not in that. We not in that. I mean, there's no sin in that. But we not gonna. We, you can't save yourself. Mm. Man. That's get that feature to an eight. You can't save yourself, man. Are, are we telling, because we told you during the C-19, have stuff on the side, it was just common sense. But we tell you, you can't put your ultimate faith, you can't get in that doomsday bonker spirit. Man. Because the prophecy say we're going to have to be permanent upon the earth. Absolutely. We're going to go from spot to spot, place to place. You can't stay in one spot for too long. And you don't know, like we say, you have all that shit lined up. Wherever you at, a power outage could happen, an EMP, you can't even travel. Remember the right? movie, Either Were Behind? Yeah. That, that, that man built the whole bunker. But he wasn't there. He wasn't there. He wasn't there to get it. You know? Where was he at? He probably was dead in the city. He probably got hit by a bomb that popped off in the movie. 
You know? Yeah, so we can't, you can't put your trust in that, man. See? Once we, we good with Yahweh Bashim Al Shah, that, he's going to cover us wherever. Right. Wherever, wherever we, at. we at. Like he told Jacob, I'm going to be with you wherever you at. Right. Yeah, yeah. Same thing right. he told the Joshua, brothers, wherever thou goest. He, he, he literally, um, uh, um, uh, 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 what King David said? He said, oh, can I go into the heavens? No, you'll be there. Under the oh. ground, under the earth, you'll be there. Most eyes everywhere. It's like, as I remember, the water. Oh, that, that, no, no, but oh. he reminded me though. Uh, Second 16 chapter, he said, I should be a guide. I'm going to guide them that keep my commandments and precepts. Oh, yeah. So he going to guide us in that time. We don't got to sit there and plan out, all right, so once the hell break loose, once the, anything happened, I'm going to go here. You know, make sure I, from there, I'm going to go over here, I'm going to grab these things. I'm gonna do. You don't know the fuck, no. You know, what does the scripture say? What? Um, Set in therefore in your hearts to meditate not what you're gonna answer in that time to the those that grab us up. You know how much more we wanna move. You don't don't meditate and plan things. Let the most high work, man. Let him work. You're gonna work miraculous works, man. You know you you just have probably a thought, go this way. You're gonna go there. You find you might find an underground bunker somewhere right next to you. You don't even know the dude's stocking up for this time. Through the spirit, you know, brother got certain jobs where they do deliveries, whatever, and they, people ordering nothing but waters. <laughs> 18 waters. They're stocking up. <laughs> they're, pre they're preppers. And I deliver to the house. We know exactly where they sit inside. Yeah. You know, a building. You do this every week. You know, 5C. And you're building this, you know. You always order number waters. Right. You know. So imagine that. You know, you know, just. What's that got us, man? You got us. I was trying to say, you just got to have a, a, a faith that's the size of a mustard seed. Yeah. That's a little bit. Right? Little bit. mountains with that little faith, man. It's gonna grow. Like we said, he preserved that wicked Jake in the, the wilderness. And yeah. they kept murmuring. Yeah. See? So we just gotta have faith. And you know, it sounds cliche to a lot of people, oh here you go with this faith. Yeah. Oh, you know, we don't you don't have to you can turn the station, man. Yeah. If you think a gun gonna save you, go right ahead, man. It don't matter what training you do, because I was watching um Persian election yeah, them white militias. Them, them dudes, they fully trained. Like, they was on a mission to kill that senator. Well, they showed you in that other purge with the Jake. They had yeah. drones come. Yeah. And handled, took out his whole team, yep. man. Yep. With a drone. You said a drone, right? A freaking drone, yeah. yeah. yeah drone. Just came and took him out. So what training can you do for that? Right? They could have a weapon right now and just hit all three, uh, out of nowhere, man. I know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? All the planes that be flying here, man. I shot like, come on, man. So you got to have faith, man. You got to have faith. Right, but you said no weapon that's from against thee shall prosper. Right, right. prosper. Alright, what you got? This is the book of Hebrews chapter 11 and verse 6. But without faith it is impossible to please him. For he that come to the most high must believe that he is a, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. That's one of the principal things that the truth is faith. The truth is based on faith. Right, especially now. Before back then it was they saw the works back then back then also was a lot of pedigree a lot of records to prove who you were now it's faith all right it's a whole lot of this whole thing is this we got this truth based off faith which goes back to who abraham okay abraham what sanctified him before he got the um uh, the promise was faith man faith man that's heavy because okay. And he was coming out of where? Babylon. The same thing like us. He was going from Babylon back to the tree of life. Back to the garden. Back to that land of Mosai promised us, man. And that's yeah. And that's the same thing we doing right now. It's the same story all over again. There's nothing new under the sun. We coming out of the ways of Babylon spiritually, man. See, he got circumcised at an old age, of hundred, I think, hundred and ninety-nine, one of the two. Okay? But what what sanctified him was his faith, his belief. All right, what you got? All right, quick. I'll show this like what the heart, you know, ultimately. But um, I'll mention this too. Is um, like the reason, right? Quick. John seventeen and twenty. Neither pray I for these alone, but for them also which shall believe on me through their word. So like the brother that said beautifully through the spirit. How today's time is also all about faith. We don't have the records. We didn't see these different things. Why do we believe? Because we've been blessed to believe. We've been embedded in us. And yes, you have those that are gonna see the works and believe later on down the line. But brothers are truly blessed to be involved in this because it's all through faith, man. But we believe in the prophecy is written 
after three days and a half, all these different prophecies, Jacob's trouble that's about to come to pass, the world with three, the mark of the beast, uh, during 20 chapter, the prophecy was coming over here and in the first place. All these things were written and we believe it. You know, all through what? Faith. The names of Yahweh, Yahweh shot, the Hebrew faith. So we so this faith took us this far. How much more society because all the problems come to pass very far face this happened everything you see in the court of the book is coming to pass so society collapsed then what you're gonna, gonna stop believing damn man it's all hell wrong maybe as we believe even more like, it's happening it's here let's go you know and that is will do faith will move mountains man okay mount calling y'all by shall fire come down all right we gonna get water for you all type of things it's all through faith man not to could think about it if you trust in yourself so get the training nigga. get the training Start working out more, start getting the guns, start practicing reload, you know, practice your aim, do, do all of that. And that's not going to save you because you get shot by a drone, you know, you get bombed. How you prepare for bombs and drones? He got his, he got his own militias, he got his own troops. S super soldiers. Super soldiers. Robots. How you going to fight a robot with a gun? They, they made by titanium. You know, you shoot a robot, they going to, you know. He's talking to starve the city out, shut off the room. Mm. How you prepare for that? EMP. You know? Oxygen. He could do whatever he could do with yeah. it. He really had the most high's mercy. That's right. Like, like the scripture, uh, they said the most high's mercy be not consumed. So, the most high will give brothers power, man. That's, that's the point. Power. Angels are going to come for brothers, man. And guide us through these times. And we believe that, man. Yep, that's divine intervention. Yeah. Oh, sorry. That's over the precept. Um, Because we believe on the words. Because also, you all believe through the words of the apostles back then, the disciples, and, you know, the records that we have. You know, uh, the different scribes, the, the Psalms, the, the Gospels, the prophecies. We believe they wrote it. We believe it. They got translated. We believe it. It's all through belief and faith. You know? And then they, back then, saw Yahweh Shai. He, 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 only a few saw him get raised. They seen him return. He didn't talk to a few. He didn't go to everybody. He went to his men. 40 days, 40 days. To chop it up with him. They pretended to the kingdom. Not everyone saw that. At first, Thomas didn't see him. You know, Thomas, I don't believe that, man. He, he, man, what? That day he came like a couple days later to Thomas, and then he, then he said, Thomas, so Thomas, yeah, because you see, because you, you, you only believe because you see him. Those are those that believe and have not seen. You see that? So that's heavy, man. So today's time, it's we, most of us with faith, man. He's like, I want y'all to believe, because he's the last day, he's the last time. After this, that's it. Believe. That's it. That's it. This is 2nd Nudges chapter 1, and verse 37. It says, I take the wit I take to witness the grace of the people to come whose little ones rejoice in gladness. Who's the little ones? That's the elect. So it says, and though they have not seen me with bodily eyes, yet in spirit they believe the thing that I say. So ultimately it's prophecy. It's prophecy that the elect is going to believe, not having no type of evidence or records that they're you know that they're the, uh, the most high chosen people. Alright, so you're watching prophecy uh, be unfolded right before your eyes. Um, that was it all, man. That was just straight to the point. Straight to the point. That's beautiful. It's faith. Faith, man. That's how the Gentiles are sanctified. It's through faith. <clears throat> that's, that's what we are. Okay, it's faith, man. I should have said faith coming by. Let's get that. Romans 10, 17. Book of Romans chapter 10 in verse uh, can I start verse 14? Verse 14. It says, How then should they call on him in whom they have not believed? How should they believe in him in whom they had not heard? How shall they hear without a preacher? And how shall they preach except they, they be sent? As it is written, how beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace and bring glad tidings of good things. It says but they have not all obeyed the gospel for Isaiah saith, Lord, who have believed our report. Verse 17, the point. So then faith coming by hearing and hearing by the word of the Most High. There you go. Faith come by hearing, hearing the words of the Most High. What, what brought us into this truth was faith. It wasn't the law. We didn't know nothing about the law. It was faith. Man. We, we wasn't keeping the law that the Most High called you. We were keeping the law. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. Truth. yeah. Right. It, was, it, was, it was faith. You're hearing the word. you was shy. Believe it. That's what sanctified you. Alright? That's what made you clean, man. And as you started believing more, then you started keeping the righteous acts. Yeah. Personal righteous acts. It starts with faith, man. Alright? So this whole thing is, is faith, man. Faith, man. 
Is there anything more I want to uh, uh, yeah, get out? Uh, Surat, Ecclesiastes chapter 1, verse 14. To fear the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, and it was created with the faithful in the womb. That's something that's from, you know, that's something that was embedded in you. You know, like Isaiah 49, chapter goes into, um, with Isaiah, I've called that name, you know, before my fact, I'm a I got a name. Yes, and faith is a gift. It's a gift. Jesus, second chapter tells you that. Yes. Right. It's a gift. It's a blessing. All right? The Lord had to give you the gift of faith. Every, everybody don't have the gift of faith, man. That's why they're not in this thing. And that's why you don't... That's why the scripture said, it's the first screen, it's 214. Let's get that for a second. There they go, they can't first, always, man. First Corinthians 2, verse 14. But the natural man receiveth not the things of the spirit of the Mosai, but they are foolishness unto him. Yeah, because they're natural men. Carnal men. So we talking about faith and spiritual power, they get annoying. Even so-called teachers in the truth. Yeah, they do. Carry sticks at camp. They don't talk about faith and spiritual. Their whole thing is, you know, carnally preparing, man. Right? It's foolishness unto him. Like one of them Jakes, he's like talking about Kamehameha's. He's like, man, cut that stuff out, man. But, yeah. It's like, you gotta be in war. Nigga, please, what are you talking about, man? That nigga look like a soldier, man. They, they will follow, man. Okay? That nigga look like he smoked blunts and all that, man. Right. Talking about war, man. All right, you carnal, man. All right, you're not even in this thing, man. You're just a damn you're not nigga. On the front man. lines, man. You're not in the field. You're scary. You, you wouldn't survive. If the East House would drop you off in Gaza, you would shit yourself, man. Yeah. You but that guy in that video? War, man. Yeah. You know the video showing this? Yeah. He's in the room. Yeah. <laughs> he can't even speak. What's your, what's your yeah, name? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a, what's your name? You mean one of them, nigga? You ain't ready for no war, man. Right. Nigga, throw up, piss, yeah. and shit at the same time, right? Yeah. Right? That's war over there, man. See, and it's, America gonna be worse. Way worse. It's gonna be a war zone everywhere, man. It's said the love of many gonna wax cold out here, man. Cold. It's gonna be a cold world out here, man. Women and children get executed in the streets, man. Dead bodies everywhere. You're gonna be seeing dead bodies, man. Of babies, women, men. Just laid out on the street. You're gonna be like dumb. The said they're not gonna be buried. Yeah. You can see a torso over here, legs and an edge right there. What the fuck? Damn, son. You be stepping over them. It's just like dung in the streets. I mean, how many times brother step over shit, man? Like, watch this that brother. You know? That's that's <laughs> replace that with a dead body. That's me dead bodies be on even more. You know? Or the dust of the earth, and that's what Zephaniah the first chapter goes into, man. You see? It's about to get bad out here. The most I saving the best for laughs, America. This is this is it. This is the 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 the, uh, the hedge of wickedness. Like it's nothing but wickedness that goes on in this place, man. What's that gonna destroy this place? These wicked people, man. Y'all deserve it. We ain't gonna pray for you, niggas. We ain't gonna shed a tear. Hell no. We gonna laugh. Pray for you. Oh yeah, get that promise first step. We're not praying for none of you niggas, man. School. You niggas done heard the job. word, man. And you chose the shortcut. Right? All about the bag, the bag, the bag. See, that's all everybody talk about on the fucking internet, man. And to them, that equates value. You come to the time, the scripture says, riches profit not in the day of wrath. The dollar's not going to save you, man. Your bank account not going to save you. I show the value in the dollar every day. You come to the time, now he's going to crash the system. Okay? Like they talk about cyber attacks. You know, him deleting, your, he going to delete your bank account. That's gonna make people lose their mind, man. Crash this computer system, this network. All everything gonna be down. Then what? It's, it's, man, hey, right, what you got? Proverbs uh, one. We wanna start twenty two. Twenty. All right, all right. Proverbs chapter one, sort of the classic, verse twenty. Wisdom crieth without; she uttereth her voice in the streets. She crieth in a cheap place of concourse, in the openings of the gates. In the city, she uttered her words, saying, How long, ye simple ones, will you love simplicity? And the scorners delight in her scorning, and fools hate knowledge. Yeah, that's our people, two-thirds. They hate knowledge. 
they hate being well reproved. All right, go ahead. Verse 23, turn you at my reproof. And it was a knowledge of what? Salvation, man. All right, go ahead. It says, I will pour out my spirit unto you. I'll make known my words unto you. Yeah, through the prophets, man. The voice of the Lord, man. Good. Con, it says, um, because I have called and ye refused, I have stretched out my hand and no man regarded. But ye have said that not all my counsel, it would none of my reproof. Mm, so that not. They hate him that rebuke it to the gate. Alright? So the scripture said the preachers of the cross to them that perish is foolishness. They scoff and they mock it. See, and you really come up, you really scoffing and mocking the Lord. Man. And you're gonna pay for that. Man. This is life and death, man. Okay, this is not no uh, you know something we just do in our pastime. This is literally life and death, man. If you reject the word as it is written, you're gonna be destroyed. All right, go ahead. Verse 26. I also will laugh at your calamity. Yeah, through his man. He's gonna mock you in that time. Right? We're going to tell you, like in Jeremiah, the second chapter, nigga, weren't you them niggas talking about your money and your bank account? Well, go go to your bank account, man. Yeah. Let that save you, man. What happened to them, that money phone conversation you were having? Put that brick yeah. of money to your ear, man. Yeah, same thing with Eve. Don't trust in that job. Yeah. Log into your OnlyFans account, man. Yeah, your six, seven-figure job, man. Yeah. Withdraw the, the, them funds, man. Yeah, go trust in that. Let that save you. I can't. The system's down. Oh, oh shit, well. man. That you was invested in wrong stocks. Yeah. You're supposed to invest in this. You're supposed to be about the father's business. Right. That's right. Right? That's what we invest in. We invest in the salvation, man. See? And the most I gave us a, a preview of that with the C19. Mm -hmm. We mocked you, Jakes, who took that thing. Man. That's right. Because you were warned not to do it, man. You were warned by the prophets from the apostles on down not to take part in that, man. Trust in some goddamn job. Like that retarded firefighter almost went to the spiritual realm after the first one, and the jackass when it took the second one. Now he can't even do the job anymore. He on disability, crying and bitching and moaning, and he want to sue the city. Man, you're an idiot, man. You're a guy. You should have followed your intuition and not take it. You took the first one. You survived. You were still somehow able to go to work. Are you gonna go take the second one, man? How stupid can you be, man? But he's one of them who trusts in the world, man. Yeah. They mentioned how the um, the M to the R to the, you know, to the NA, that's going to be killing people in 2024. They'll bring in an article about that. You know, those that took that thing, a lot of them start dropping like flies. Yeah, a lot of, a whole lot of young people got heart attacks. Yeah. A whole lot of people just dropping dead. Cancer. Yeah. Women missing their periods. All sorts of things happen in their body, man. Mm -hmm. Right? Because they trust in the beast. Oh, well, man. You're yeah. written, Steve, man, because you were one. So I'm going to move with the, uh, the, the Karagma. You know? That's the next one. That's the great, the grievous soul. The grievous soul. And ultimately, if you take that, the Lord, you have a bullseye on your head from the spiritual realm. Mm -hmm. You marked. Mm -hmm. There's a missing with, there's a warhead with your name on it. You're going to taste the second death. You, Guaranteed. You got that target locked on you, you know? Warhead, that's target locked, to, you know, to his target. Because yeah. you're telling the most high, I trust the beast. I will follow the beast wherever you go. That's what you're telling him. Okay? Mosai telling us to spiritually we have to depart. Physically we got to um, start detaching even more. Alright? A lot of comforts that we had. The Mosai saying, you know, it was, it was fun. We're about to lose a lot of comforts, man. That's right. As you get into the straight gate, it's going to be very tough, man. And this is why a lot of so-called Israelites... That's in the truth. They gonna give to give into the. <laughs> oh man, see wicked niggas online to get their with their fringes on, get their uh, MOTB. That's crazy. Ock is not the MOTB though. Ock, right? You're out there, sword master cutting the heathen, and you on damn line talking about it's not what not what it is. All Remember right? the um, brother yeah. had the dream, brother. Um, Bar, he had that dream of the market, you know? Yeah. Like he was lining up. Jason and the Chief. Niggas with their fringes on, you know? Making every day they might because they're so hungry, the demons gonna start having hallucinating. They're gonna start justifying themselves in their mind. Yeah. So that's Jeremiah 17 and 9. The, yeah. the, the heart is desperately wicked. Who can know it, man? It is it's desperately evil. Yeah. 
So like the brother said, they're gonna start just so like, hold on, your phone has a chip. Your credit card has a chip. That was never a sin. So why would he put it? See them demons start justifying it. Right? You gotta feed your kids. Man. Yeah, yeah, feed your kids. Feed your wife. Bro. You been had chips and everything. Yeah, man. Your you potato chips all your life. Your, your phone. This, that. Yeah, don't your dog has one? I'm like, yeah, man. No, I can't be that MOT, man. That's, that doesn't make sense, man. You know what I mean? Like, what's wrong with me putting it in my flesh? You know? All the scriptures and the precepts are gonna go out the door, man. Yeah. Now just you doing your flesh, doing your thoughts. Talking into them demons. And after you take that shit, you're done. Like, oh, remember that, that dream that woman had, that Eve? She said she took it and she tried to she condemn, she was trying to chop her hand off. You know? Nah, it's over. It's over. You can chop like your hand off. That, that, that was a good little test. The Maxine was a beautiful test. Yeah. And we all had our own little scenario. And the most I got us all out of all of it. Do what? Do faith. We had to, we had, like you said, we rolled the dice of faith, man. So y'all about to shout, okay. we leave it to you. Man. I was supposed to say that I was doing it. Yeah. We leave it to you, man. This is your fight. Like you said, Durham in the 22 East, the battle is not ours. Yep. And what happened? He made it where we didn't we need it, man. Cast thy burdens upon the Lord. Yep. And he got us through all that situation. It's like you he said it. I'ma keep you from the hour of temptation, man. You did what I told you to do. Right? So when those scenarios come up, he gonna have our he had our back, man. Oh, I just thought about another scenario. This through a dream, my brother. I forgot the brother, but he had a dream. I never forget this dream. That uh, he got to a certain house or whatever the case may be, and the troops coming looking, and they uh, when they went to see if he had the the, the they chip. They read the name. They read the name, yeah. and the family that lived there had the chip, but yeah. they wasn't there. Yeah. You know, what I'm saying so he looked them was like, oh, they're good, they're good. They kept walking. Yeah. You know, and he didn't have the chip. You know, but it was in a house with the family that had it. You know. See, that, that's how the Lord gonna work it out. The most I came through for us big time, man. So, you know, that was to build us up for what's coming. Look, I had your back in that time. Don't worry about what's coming, man. So we just going to keep doing what we doing, man. All right. All right, what you got? Guys, a little more on this. So, Proverbs 1, we got verse uh, 26. I'll also laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear cometh. When your fear cometh as desolation. Like we read in Jeremiah, like we supported Jeremiah, the second chapter. That's what we're going to tell you, Jace. That's the most I'm mocking you. Whatever you put your faith and trust in, we're going to tell you all upon that. Right? See? Alright, go call upon that, man. Go cry to your God, the so-called white man. Let him save you, man. See, like Charleston White. I never knew no black Jesus. This is that Jesus. We're going to mock you too, man. We're going to mock Charleston White. He a funny guy. He's, he bring, bring out some point, but he's he wicked, man. He's wicked. He's faithless. All type of shit. Yeah, he don't want to believe the Hebrews. He knows the truth. He's no, he said, recently he said, he said, we ain't no Africans. Them niggas snake. He said, but we ain't no Hebrews neither. <laughs> we just niggas. That's he said, we just niggas. Yeah, you, you a nigga. You a nigga. You a nigga. You a goddamn nigga. We're sons nigga. of the power. Yeah. Faithless nigga. Yup. Yeah. Right. Fetty walk one eye. See? But she looked like Cat Williams too. <laughs> Both the niggas have a similar spirit. Yeah. They do. They have a similar. I noticed yeah. that with you. Charles yeah. and White talk. It's like, yeah. remind me of Cat Williams, man. Mixed, mixed with Uncle Ruckus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. mixed with Uncle Ruckus. Literally with the eye, too. The eye. Yeah. Yeah. He has a prosthetic eye. One eye, literally, now you're supposed to be. <laughs> yeah, like, he, 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 That's a nigga, man. Yeah, that's a nigga, man. See, I'm like the brother say he, he in both worlds. Right? If you want to say some truth, but. Still want the bag too. Yeah. How was shy? Said no man can serve two masters, man. He said after he got the bag, he said fuck the community. <laughs> he said I'm rich now. <laughs> he said I went from the uh, the town hall meetings to the strip club, nigga. He like, all right, yeah, okay. Like polite. That was funny. <laughs> he said nigga leave spirituality for the spiritual realm. I'm in the physical realm. I'm gonna please my flesh. What happened? Now you locked up, you jackass. He's another nigga's flesh in there. Oh, Lord, my God, you was another nigga who shot up the Bible. Yeah. You really think the most high is going to allow you to get away with that, man? Uh, like, who do you think you're dealing with, man? This nigga was slandering the brothers and the truth and the elders and shooting up the Bible and accused them of the same thing he's locked up for now. That show you the most high ain't nothing to play with, man. That guilty and all that. Nigga did a plea deal and all that. And you accused the elders of that, man. 
How you locked up for that, man? It's just seven years completion. And they said, but well, you don't have seven years here. And they said, your yeah, probation is 10 years. If you do any crime within the 10 years, you have to serve the full 60 years. That's that's his coffin, more than likely. That's your coffin, man. You're going to burn right You're in there. You're going to burn cell. in there. See, no more, uh, uh, what was his favorite shoes? The, the Giuseppe's? What do you call that shit? Giuseppe's? Yeah, he always used to fucking wear them shoes, man. That was his favorite shoes, man. You know? Giuseppe's, uh, he had the funny bags or whatever. You're not in that, uh, I don't know the fashions like that. Yeah, I don't know, I don't know too much about yeah, yeah, yeah. brands. I know about Jays. It's, 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 it's Hermes bag. It's $30,000 bags, right? Folly, man. But you can do what you want with your money, but you a scam artist, man. So you were scamming people, scamming the community, scamming God, because you the black woman was God. You were scamming God, man. Mm -hmm. Scamming them women, man. There's no, all the kind of videos on Polite, he was a scam artist. He was raping his God. Yep. Oh, he raped his God. He raped his God. It's crazy, man. It's, 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 his it's children was all over her mouth. Just it's an evil nigga, man. Your stepdaughter. That's against the law, That's bro. Law, yeah. Leviticus the 18th chapter, man. You're not supposed to deal with your stepdaughter, man. Okay. okay? And got her intoxicated. And then uh, you would say your children is all over her mouth, man. She had bruises all over her mouth, man. See? He did it. He, 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 he had that demon concubiscence on you, huh? He had that predator. Like, he did it like a, a serial killer. Like a Ted Bunny type spirit. Like, he drugged and abused the woman, man. That's that's demonic. You have to get a be drunk you and abusing you know, doing that. Well, that's that's a stepdaughter like that's crazy. That's off. And you polite, man, so you could have got your you could have got any harlot of any flavor. She was dazed out then it was like, you know, yeah. hey get off on that, weirdo. You should get rocked to that weird shit. Yeah. Like, you need to die, man. Like we said, you could have got a harlot of any flavor with the money you got. Yeah. This nigga preyed on his stepdaughter. Mm. That night he could have five women in the hotel. You know, one call, you know, I got the bread, you know, pull up, all it, just get done. Yeah, see, but you, you went off because you, you were slandering the men of the Lord. Right. Most I put on it, you got it. It's Galatians chapter 6 in verse 7. It says, Be not deceived, the most high is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. Mm. You see? So he sowed what? You want to mock the most high? So the most high made him go out. Terrible fashion, he discredited his, his reputation. Right? So it says, verse 8: For he that sowed to his flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption, but he that sowed to the spirit shall of the spirit reap life everlasting. Reap corruption. Right. Right now he's in his uh, coffin. That jail, that, that jail house over there that he's at right now. That's coffin. That's where he's getting buried at. Yeah. You said, have regard to thy name, man. That's right, yeah. Because so, it shall follow after thee. Goddamn fucking scammer too. If I get that, is it Sirach 20? 25, something like that. He was Mr. Conscious Man on Sarnetta, always talking some kind of shit, man. For the community, black women, God, this and that, Egypt was this, Egypt, boom, 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 boom. And when they got the bag, all that went out the window. See, you can't. <laughs> but you, Jakes, you fall for everything, though, man. See, all these niggas are scam artists, man. Right? Let's read that. <clears throat> Mr. Umar, a building this school for how many years? 13, 4, and still ain't, the school ain't up yet, man. Right? These niggas are scam artists, man. No different than the preacher. All right, what you got? It's not good. I'm trying to... I think 2025 on there. Mm. This is Sirach chapter 20, verse 25. A thief is better than a man that is accustomed to lie, but they both shall have destruction to heritage. There you go. He's a thief and a liar, man. Well, let's get that Revelation 21 and 8. Don't fake me. He's a liar, man. He's a false prophet. And he's a goddamn thief, too, man. All right? See? Let's get that Revelation 21. Revelation chapter 21, verse 8. So the Most High getting all these guys, man. He got polite. That was another highlight of 2023. Mosai got his ass, man, finally. And the Mosai, just how he did it was fantastic. Because we thought it back then. We wanted him to get hit back then. But the Mosai said, nah, he wasn't known back then yet. 
except for in those conscious communities and amongst you know the Israelites because he debated most allowed his name to build up his profile he, he allowed him to go on uh, the breakfast club the breakfast club and these other podcasts of Vlad TV so he started becoming famous he started becoming renowned then he brought the hit all right I want to build up his profile then I'm gonna destroy it that's how the most I did it, man. Same that raised you up. Yup. I'm gonna bring you down. Yeah. I want him to be known. Show his power. Yeah. See? Because only a few would have known if he hit him back. It would have not made much headlines, but now Polite is a, a well known figure. He was with Ron Artest, a couple of celebrities. Floyd Mayweather Party, this, that, this celebrity he was known. Right? And then the most I then he brought him down. Game over. What you got? Revelation chapter 21 verse 8 But the fearful and unbelieving Yeah, that's the guys that uh, fell out Right? You know, uh, so said, what you gonna do when the Lord visits you? Man? Yeah, it's, uh, they be, for they believe not Those that are lost patience For they should not be defended They believe not They yeah, gave up your crown They gave up your crown, man You were fearful and you unbelieving, man I right, get it? It says That's a sin We talked about faith today the scripture tells you what's up not a faith is sin, man. Right. So faith is important, man. Go ahead. Read it on. And the abominable and murderers and whoremongers and so Right? Uh, 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 madams, all, all that shit. It's wickedness, man. Right? The abominable and any all the freakish shit that we talk about, you Jakes. That's all abomination. Scripture says the most I hated the abominations. Alright? Iniquity upon iniquity. All right, go ahead. It says murders and whoremongers and sorcerers. Yeah, witches, warlocks, masons, you celebrities. You're all um, warlocks, man. Yeah, they warlocks, man. Jay -Z Channeling man. spirits to help you with a role. You are a warlock. Even though we like you guys for your talent, but niggas are warlock, man. They, they, they channel spirits and cast spells upon the albums before they drop it or they singles before they release it. So the, the play we play in the public's ears. What my damn shit, Idris? The, he, the devil helped him with yeah, his role. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was channeling what spirits? Mm -hmm. All right. And he, you're, and he, you're a warlock. And they bring that out. They don't, he don't want to say that. He's saying it to give homage to Satan, man. He's saying that to let it be known. You know, this is my, this is who I'm serving. Said, devil, to, come to, to me. Like, That's what he said. To pay his respect. Pray, he had to pray with respect. Like, I said, devil, come to me. Man. Just, I need that that role. I mean, whatever, you know. He, he, he said he hit it. He, he, cut, he had to break through. He had to break through. The devil took him to the next level. Why you ain't calling on the Most High, man? Yeah, but Most High ain't in Hollywood. He ain't in Hollywood, weird, man. He's not there. All right, yeah. go ahead. It says, um, and idolaters, mm. and all liars. Idolaters, all right. Jake's in your he's, uh, Christianity, Islam, you're an idolater, man. Right, you put your whole trust and faith in American dollar. That's an idol. That's an idolater, man. Okay, you just celebrated Christmas. You are in idolatry, man. Right? New Year's. New Year, all that's idolatry, man. Worship You're paying homage kings. to other gods, man. All right, go ahead. It says in all liars. False prophets, man. Polite was one of them. Okay. Teaching that the black woman is God and having a follow in the constantly. I mean, nigga, you are a goddamn false prophet. You're a liar, man. See, in Tazariak, you're not that far behind either, man. With your bullshit, man. Mm. Talking about the strongest thing in the scriptures is the woman. Get the fuck out of here with that nonsense. What are you talking about, man? Like, you missed the possible. whole point of what was Zerubbabel was trying to get across, yeah. man. That was, crazy. that was a crazy statement. See? It, almost like he was getting offended that brothers were reproving the woman. Yeah, man. that's that's how he said it. He said it just like that. Okay, yeah, you... brother, just stop it, man, with that. You know, because what's the strongest thing in the Bible other than God? Zerubbabel was condemning all three. Yeah. All right. He said, wine, wine is king. wicked, women are wicked, and the sons of men, these yeah. wicked rulers, they're wicked, man. Mm -hmm. He said, but the truth endure forever, and it is always strong. Blessed be the God of the truth, man. That's right. Okay. All right, what you got? Who's bringing forth the truth? The men of the Lord, man. Who's, who's teaching the truth? Who did y'all check the truth to? In John 8, chapter 32. See, I assume you can, y'all also going down too, man. Because y'all also tell Jake to took the juice. So you niggas are false prophets too, man. He also said our Lord Yahushua got baptized by a nigga. He said a nigga, man. 
thing the Lord forgot about that, man. You know, 2024. I said, we trying to stay on point, man. Right. Excuse me, judgment going to begin at the house of the Lord, man. Most of I ain't playing, man. Excuse say what? Examine thyself before the day of judgment. And that's your fine mercy, man. You know? This is, this is heavy. Yeah. So John the Baptist was a nigga. Where did that come from, man? I get it. It says, um, shall have their part in the lake of which burneth with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. This was your house shot returning. It's the second death. So basically a prophecy. It was a, it was a prophecy being fulfilled that he was going to come free, free the, the people of that land. I forget mm -hmm. the name. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Second Adam. The power that's going to. It's for the Amalekite, man. They got to come down. World so, government. Because yeah. that's another thing, too. In that, in that series, one piece, it's just one government. It's not most It's one world government. You know? It's called the world government. Not the United States, not the Russian. It's all one. You know? And that's their goal today is a one world currency, one world government, one religion, all the different things under the guise of Satan, man. The new world order. You know, on the back of the $1 bill, a new collectees, Lucifer, or God, they was undertaking an enterprise. New orders, Novus Order Supreme, New Order of the Ages. Roman numeral 1776, May Day, May 1st. One of the Rob Schaus Commission had a white staff to fund the Illuminati for their purposes. So this is not theories, no more. These not conspiracy. These are facts. This, this is the life we're living in, man. Job 9, 24, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. All right? Most I let them rule for a certain amount of time. Now they're coming down. Hello, Yahweh Shah said what? I see Satan and lightning fall from heaven. And that's why Yahweh Bashmiel Shah gave us these secrets, man. Because you could see, you could see all these things, man. That's crazy. Irish person, they don't even, they can't see past. There's a spiritual meaning behind all these things, man. You know? That's what Hollywood show you in plain sight. You know? Now we got the eyes, you can see past all that, man. See, man, call him, and this is all spiritual, man. That's what the Lord said. He said, bless me the eyes. Let's get that look to him. Let's get cold. Cold out here, bro. So the world government, sun, sun, God coming to destroy them. But he was prophesied to come save, save the slaves. And, and basically his power was hidden too. The fruit that he ate. Yeah, they changed the they name. They changed the name. They tried to hide it. You know, so what? They trying to hide this truth. They trying to hide who, who we was, our identity. You know? And guess what? At the end of the day, I know your house coming, you know? That's destroyed. parallel to our story. Yes. Yeah. You know? It's crazy, man. Like, on the surface, just look at it as, it's a, you know, pirate anime, just, you and know, then, bullshit and doofy. That should get deep. And then the real pirates of real life are Jake's. Yeah. Those are Israelites, man. Yeah, black, black beard. Black beard. Those yeah. are all Jake, yeah. All of them. All, all Israelites, man. They're not talking See, but it's parallel to our story, man. Yeah. And it's funny, it's, it's, it came out around this time. It was finishing around this time. Mm -hmm. And like we said, you can't make it up. He made his debut in chapter 10, 4, 4. You, you can't make shit like that up, man. You can't make that up, man. All right, what you got? It's the same Luke chapter 10 and verse 23. And he turned him, it says, and he turned him unto his disciples. It said privately, blessed are the eyes which see the things that ye, ye see. Said privately, blessed you guys are blessed. Man. You guys are blessed, man. That's what he said. Don't in that same when you read further up. Don't rejoice you have power with spirits, but rejoice that your name is written in heaven. Okay, that you're one of the elect, man. See, that's a blessing, man. Because you want your name to be written. Because some of these guys, uh, they ain't right, but they could cut spirits too. That's what they going to say, Lord, but didn't we do great works in your name? You say, I, the part, I never knew you niggas, man. See? Because like we said, Judas Iscariot at one point had the power, but his name ain't written in heaven, man. So it's about being a part of the elect. But like what he said, what? Read it again. St. Luke chapter 10 and verse 23. And he turned him unto his disciples and said privately, Blessed are the eyes which see the things that ye see. For I tell you that many prophets and kings have desired to see those things which ye see, and have not seen them, 
and to hear those things which you hear and have not heard them. Yeah, because they, yeah, they all were wishing for the Messiah. See, and he said, you guys are blessed because you're with him right now. And I'm telling you things that's about to come, man. See, you guys are blessed, man. And we, you know, we, a lot of the apostles and brothers on down are those same men coming back again. Well, you have even a deeper understanding. All right? Deeper understanding, man, because we're in that time, man. All right? Well, this is what Yahweh Shai said in the regeneration. This is that time, man. So we're, we're blessed to know the secrets, man. And even like we said, when the elite bring out certain things, even these movies and these shows, you pick up on things easy. We just don't look at shit for entertainment, man. All right? Now we see the true hidden meaning behind these things. Like we was talking about anime One Piece. The people just look at it as entertainment, oh, power and power. Like, yeah, you're doing some nerd shit, man. It's all kind of hidden, hidden things in there, man. Deep things in there, man. All right? What you got? Sirach 3 verse 19. Many are in high place and are renowned, but mysteries are revealed unto the meek. Meek, man. All right, the lowly. All right, that's us. All right, we not no uh, theologian or doctors and lawyers. The Lord is not dealing with those guys, man. He's dealing with the meek, the lowly. Right? What Eve say, uh, the regular nine to five guy, which they say they don't want to date. That's that's the type of men the Lord is revealing his secrets to, man. That's right. Okay, most I ain't dealing with these niggas in high positions, man. And we, we even going into these celebrities. The Lord exposing them niggas right now, man. Okay, going on Epstein Island and then <laughs> Cat Williams pretty much saying he's one of the few comedians who didn't get his butt blown out or his rod blown, man. See, basically he's one of the last of the Mohegans, man. All right? He's one of the few guys, man, that actually made it. All right? Untouched. See? And you mentioned that scene in, um, and that last another thing too, a lot of them scenes that, that these animators would give you a script, and they'll try to, like, uh, what's the word? Dehumanize you, you know, uh, demasculate you yeah, he on, him. On, on screen. You know, the scene, the money might scene with Terry Crews, he was getting, he was getting raped in it. Like, Terry Crews was like, I said, rape him. He said, listen, no, 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 listen, we can make this funny without a black man, you know, so a black man getting raped on his first movie. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, nah, we can make it funny. So that's why he just got chased. Like, he ended up putting the chin on Terry Crews' nuts and ran and, you know. Yo, Terry Crews always used to play them. Yeah, that was Terry Crews' first yeah. movie, too. Yo, know, yeah, because remember he used to do them fruity ass YouTube yeah. commercials. I remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The old spice commercials. Yeah, I, I remember. I said I seen this nigga. Uh, yeah, it's a CSS. <laughs> Oily ass nigga. This nigga was on some weird shit, man. Vaseline dub. I, I can know weird, bro. Yeah. Like, too big for this, bro. And then you had sure. uh, uh, the white girls when he was in love with the yeah. uh, Marlon Wayans as yeah. a white girl. Yeah. He always played some weird. Yeah. It's like he uh -huh. found out that it was a man and still put his self for the bullet in front of him, man. He said, I knew he wasn't. Man, you wicked. He's just a doofy, doofy, <laughs> goofy ass nigga, goofy man. Goofy nigga, man. So, of course, they're going to be grabbing your shit in front of everybody, man. Yeah. Look at the yeah. energy you give off, man. You mentioned that, too. Okay, well, you mentioned that, that whole uh, meat grabbing. Yeah. Uh -huh. All right? A man may be known by his look. So if you were real stone and stoic and then tolerate no nonsense, he would never have done that. He would have never been comfortable to do that, man. That's why Debo. He didn't go to no more. Yeah, 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 yeah. He said it. They asked him. He said about the dress. He said, listen, you got to get some dumb black person to play that shit. Uh, he said, that's why I was playing that warrior, that tough guy. I don't play them type of roles, man. Right? Which he's right. That's why he said he never went for in Hollywood. So I'm not doing that, man. Because they always present that to these jakes. They did Dave Chappelle. And so these are Malachi's so fucking, they all Adam 22s. Man. Yeah, all Just the, fucking all weirdos, man. And they get up on that nasty yeah. shit, man. Yeah. Emasculate. They just, just weird, man. Because I'm be told, it's nothing funny about a nigga in the dress. It's not funny, man. You know? It's not funny. It's really not funny. They did that to Keenan Nikel. They did that to Wesley Snipes ass. Yeah. To what, Wong Fu, remember? What is Wesley Snipes doing in the dress, man? Yo, that, that whole movie, when you look back on it, didn't even fucking make Don't sense. Don't make sense. No. What's Wesley Snipes' action pack? What was he doing in there, man? What's the other nigga that had a show? Um, sorry, the A thing. Um, what the fuck's his name? He had his own show. 
You know, black dude. He played a woman. He played a damn. That was the name. Medina. No, not Medina. He was in. He was in Eddie Murphy. The movie with Eddie Murphy. But he was in his. Oh, I gotta find this. Hmm. I'm gonna find out. It's a lot of you got. What's the nigga name? It's already eight. Yeah, yeah, you know, we all know about Eddie Murphy. He's supposed to be the king of comedy. I don't even wicked as hell. Let me uh, uh, Arsenal Hall. Or Senior Hall? Uh, Senior Hall, him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He had his that own dude. show, yeah. He, he got an address. He played a woman to a fucking T. He really got into that role, man. Yo, the Esau is, that's why the scripture says, let's get Proverbs 12 26. It's time for you devils to go down, man. That's right, man. That's it, man. That's it. You had this satanic time to rule, man. You just went far with it. You know, pushing that thing with everybody, man. It's wicked, evil. God. This is the, the the law says a man should not wear that which pertains to a woman. You shall not put on a man's garment. And that's all you. They had Queen Latifah, you know, thugged out, lesbian in one of her first films. And she, Saturday. And she, and she was really, and she's really that. She's really is, yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, you, know? I, you thought she was just playing a role. That bitch really is that, yeah, man. Yeah, Fuck yeah. up, man. She, she died on, like she was a on nigga. her sister soldier shit, bitch. You a damn dyke. What you got? What's it Proverbs 12 26? <clears throat> this is uh, Proverbs 12 and 26? Yeah. Chapter 12 and verse 26. <clears throat> it says, The righteous is more excellent than his neighbor, but the way of the wicked seduces him. Yeah, Jake, Jake is seduced. Jake, Jake get enticed. Right? They, they, you said they gave up their morals, their integrity, their name, doing things that they know is not right. All right? For a check. All right, or to better position themselves where they can get better roles, man. Nah, man. Nah, man. Keep your integrity, Jake. Jake can't do it though, cause they want everything fast and quick. And above all, you can't make you can't make it in that world without being wicked anyway. So, you know, they they ain't trying to hear all that. They ain't trying to hear no kingdom of heaven and waiting and suffering and nigga. Oh, I ain't trying to hear all that, man. Like you know that Jake told um, Nate. He said, listen, now, you know. I don't know I'll be a part work. of this organization and get the bag. See, that's the average nigga's mind, man. Like the brother said, they want it now. Okay, go ahead. I got one real quick. This is just going to the point that, uh, you know, Esau is a sodomite because he tries to push that vibration on everybody. Do the least, right? So Romans chapter 1, and I'm going to get straight to the point, verse 31 and 32 in the NLT. It says, when you read this, the concept of this chapter is going into the characteristics of sodomites. So it says, they refuse to, to understand, they break their promises, are heartless, and have no mercy. Yeah, and it, yeah this is Jake and uh, Rome. Show you what they were doing, man. Israelites in Rome, man. Okay, they were following Esau, man. They were coming out of that Greco-Roman world. A lot of them into all sorts of freakism. See, the way of the what? The way of the wicked seducing them, man. Paul said, all they that do this are worthy of death. You can read on here. Verse 32, it says, They know the Most High's justice requires that those who do these things deserve to die. Or his sodomites, that's what the Apostle Paul said, they deserve to die, right? Yet they do them anyway. Worse yet, they encourage others to do them too. So that's what sodomites do. Right? They're sodomite, but worse yet, they, they, they want to push that on you and then your children. And we see that playing out today. That's why we got to get up out of here, man. All right? Where the wicked I saw seducing them, man. All right? It's not no small thing because the scripture calls him the prince of the power of the air. So that's on TV. That's on social media. That's everywhere. That's on advertisement, billboards. These are the things that they promote, man. This thing that's all around us. Okay? See? He promotes sin. See? And then it, now it's in the schools. See? That's a part of the curriculum, man. Like you have black history, right? Now you got LGBTQIA history or curriculum tied in with it, man. That's wicked. We ain't gonna talk about the first faggot. You know? Pioneer, the homo. One of the pioneers stood against discrimination. See, man, the sod, man, so. They probably gonna buddy. teach about Sodom and Gomorrah. You know, they, oh, they, they, the martyrs of their time. Was God <laughs> wrong? 
was God wrong. It's just wickedness, man. Yeah. You know, feminism class, the first, one of the first feminists was Vashti. Yeah. She was a fucking feminist, man. Yeah. Even though the king was under the influence and he probably was going off. But still, that's the king. He called your ass, man. She said, no, I'm not coming. So his advisors was like that. So she was a what? She was a feminist. She told the king no, man. Okay? So, you know, she definitely up there with, uh, they talk about Gloria and Steinem. You should put Vashti in there, man. Yeah, what happened? I asked God removed from office, man. Okay? They, his, and the heathen said, um, all women are to what? To honor their husband, great or small, man. They made that decree, man. Right, so like we said, all these and who, like we said, you gotta blame all this shit on Esau, man. All right, go ahead. Got a precept with the brother Red. Um, this is Habakkuk 2 verse 15. Woe unto him that now did. you got read, read up. Uh, we transgress about wine. I think that's four or five because his wine is what his philosophy, right. his doctrine, oh. okay, his democracy, his capitalism, his feminism, mm -hmm. his homosexuality. That's his wine, go ahead. Habakkuk 2 and 4. Behold, his soul, which is lifted up, is not upright in him. So he's not right. There's no teaching him. We just read the Romans account, Jake and Rome. Who are they following? The so-called white men. Right. You go, we go into the Maccabees account, man. The Greeks bringing pork in the temple, harlots in the temple, right? They great, they great leader, Alexander the Greek. He was a damn homosexual, man. He didn't have no heir, anybody to lead to because he was damn popping Persian boys, man. Male um, escorts, man. He was a great warrior. He's a damn boxy boy, man. So that that was just tied. That was just that's in his spirit anyway. Now today we going into Epstein Island, man. Okay. He was a sexual deviant, man, and nothing but these. They have Jake um, in it, but most of them are damn Edomites, man. Okay. okay? Men in positions of power. That's just who he is. All right, read on. It says, but the just shall live by his faith. Verse 5. Yea, also, because he transgresses by wine. Yeah, we talk about that. His philosophy and his doctrine. You see? He entices people to sin. Go ahead. It says, he is a proud man, neither keepeth at home. He's always everywhere. He's everywhere, man. Everywhere, man. America, South America, in the Middle East, uh, uh, China, Hong Kong, China, that, the Brits did that. They separated North and South Korea. Um, Nagasaki, Australia, New Zealand, those are Jaffite territory. Got Edomites ruling Australia. Those, that's Jaffite territory, man. Got so, Ishmael in fucking um, Egypt. Yeah. And, they, and they stupid. Oh, I'm Egyptian. Egypt. Egypt, Egypt is a Greek word. Go back to Mizraim, all right. Uh, was though they descend from Ham or the Hamites, but then they then they'll know. Oh, I come from, from Ishmael. They know they come from Ishmael. So you call you come from Ishmael and Ham, which Ishmael is a Shemite, and and, and uh, he's in, uh, oh, oh, Esau also is in um the land of Israel. Yeah, saying he's us. So he's like and fighting a war right now, letting the world, uh, making the world believe that. They're the people of that land. Where well, you had the scripture said ambassadors sent amongst the heathen, man, Gamel of Nasa, man. Well, what did he say? You guys would never be accepted. You left black and came back white. That's a famous quote. Remember that Palestinian woman said, oh, you, you, basically the real Jews need to come back to the land. They a lot of them know, man. <laughs> they, they know the so-called Negroes and Hispanics over here are the Israelites. They know these The Syrian things. president just said it. He said, you guys are fucking you're Eastern Europeans. Oh, like, who are these people, man? Mm. Like, oh, like we said, the world. If animators know, then you know world leaders know. They know. They know. This is that. Like we always tell you, Jake, that, that was the best kept secret. Mm -hmm. Okay? Who the Negro and Hispanic and the Native, who, who they were. They got the records. They, they may be against each other, but when it comes to that secret, we all made an agreement in the pact. We're going to keep it hidden, man. So right? the third chapter. Yup. They all know about Simeon and Toko. We're going to keep that story hidden. See, but eventually the Mosai opened the floodgates, man. 
it's gonna come out eventually, man. What are you saying? No, Slocky, I just thought about the, the point you bring out with the One Piece. Well, the, the, the devil for power right there, they called the gum gum fruit, really is a human. Human fruit was like him being a god. Yeah, they, they kept that secret, they renamed it. How did what? Renamed us. We, we was called us a nigger, to Negro, to Afro American, that's a hairstyle, all right? To African American, they called the Hispanics, uh, the, the Dominicans, Puerto Ricans, all these things, they, they named them of things they conquered them with. Port Riches, we call Puerto Ricans. You know, the Dominicans, Dominicanos, uh, dogs of God, all right? Jamaicans, land of wood and water, they're Jamaicans. You know what I'm saying? So they just named us these things and they-, they, they Proverbs really, and bywords. Proverbs and bywords. But to, to what? We're Yasha Allah, Prince princes of power, let's, sons of God. Let's get that Hosea 1 and left. Let's get that. All right? Spirit flowing. It's funny because we're going to bring out other topics. Spirit just go where I want to go, man. That's how it was shot. Because there was some precepts I had I thought I was going to, but the Spirit had to go up elsewhere, man. Like we say, you may even have some scriptures you want to go with. Like Paul Starr said, you may have some scriptures you want to hit when you. And the spirit just nah. We yeah, go this way. It'd be funny through the spirit. Yeah, they yeah. have the list. Yeah. And every once you yeah. know that list. Yeah, and then the, the spirit just flows somewhere flows else. Flows somewhere else, yeah. That's the spirit of the Lord. Yeah. Towards the end. Let's go back to the towards the end. Let's go back to the list yeah. right quick. We got yeah, the that's, second one. <laughs> and that's how the brother said we're gonna move in this these day and time. You yes. may have we going I'm gonna do this and the Lord have you go somewhere totally different, man. Yeah. Alright. What you got? Hosea 1 and 11. Then shall the children of Judah and the children of Israel be gathered together. Let me start verse 10. Con, con. Hosea 1 and 10. Yet the number of the children of Israel shall be as the sand of the sea, which cannot be measured nor numbered. And it shall come to pass that in the place where it was set as a thumb, ye are not my people. Right here in America. Because we got renamed here. And the scripture says the Lord, his image got crucified or crossed out. It says where was yet was put up. And after they beat our nationality out of us, they show you that in roots. And they re-educated re us just like they did to Cat. You are not the people of the Lord. You are African. Yeah, you some damn monkey eater. See, a savage. <laughs> yeah, that's what they're telling our people, man. <laughs> and a nigga, nigga, yeah. <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah. Yo, man. See, and Jake started believing it. Started believing in white Jesus and it just destroyed, man. Right. And if it wasn't for the Rakak with Josh, man, we all would have been done, man. See, most I gave our Kako Dash was just the glitch, right? Because that wasn't supposed to happen, man. Like we say, all these nations are against each other, but when it comes to the, the people of the most, that scripture says they rejoice when the two witnesses went down. Mm -hmm. Revelation 11. When the two kingdoms fell, they rejoiced. Because the scripture says they tormented them. When we were in coots with our power, nobody could do anything, man. Judah, the fifth chapter, let us know that. Yeah. So when we went down and we fell as a nation, they all rejoiced, man, in the UN, man. You know? But it, it, the gig is up now, man. All right, what you got? Look, oh, you got more now? It's a little more. It's like, it says, Ye are not my people, there shall be set as a thumb. Ye are the sons of the living God. Because he gave a, he gave a pastors according to his own heart. Starting with Elder Apostle Bivens, to the, the Elder uh, Apostle Ariad, the other, the men on down, man. Well, uh, Alba Bibbs, we spirit is Elijah, aka John the Baptist, man. The greatest prophet after Yahweh Shai. You idiots in the ISUPK, man. The forerunner of the truth, man. But the guy who prepared the way. See? From the other great men on down, man. The elders, the scripture says, was what? Who's worthy of double honor. Okay? Yeah, man, the pillars of the faith, man. I mean. You got men out there talking about F, some new upstart, some novice. Talking about F that guy, man. You just, that's why you, you know, man. So we're going to stay in the spirit, man. Sure. You know, bros already had dreams on your ass already, man. Mm. So you better tread lightly, which you're not. All right, because pride is flowing through that guy, man. What you got? This is Jeremiah chapter 33 and verse 23. It says, Moreover, the word of the Lord came to Jeremiah, saying, Consider thou not what these people have spoken, saying, The two families which the Lord have chosen, he hath even cast them off. No, just to add on to what the brothers are saying. That's what the heathens are, you know, that's what the heathens say. That's what they believe, that the Most High cast away his people. Yeah. Right? So it says, 
thus they have despised my people that they should no, be no more a nation before them. They despise this. All right. Verse 25, thus saith the Lord, if my covenant be not with day and night, and if I have not appointed the, anointed, the, the ordinances of heaven and earth, then will I cast away the seed of Jacob and David, my servant, so that I will not take any of his seed to be rulers over the seed of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Yeah. So, so they thought the Israelites would be done away with. All right. The Most High mercy would never depart. And he said, if we get rid of the sun, the moon, and the stars, then you'll get rid of Israel. He made an everlasting company with Israel. Man. You know what's so heavy about that, too? So that, uh, we look it up. Can the earth survive without the sun, moon? No, everything will die. So if that was ever happen, that means the most out is destroy everything. That's basically what you're saying. I'm, if we're with my people, shit, there'd be nothing here. You yeah, saying? Because he, he said so, the world was created for our sakes. Our sakes. Boom. Sun and moon, nothing can survive, man. Everything will die. You know what I'm saying? So he, he, he does need us. He gonna serve us, man. That scripture said the creature hasten it. Yeah. Whether you nations know it or not, you need us, man. You need us. All right. The, um, the earth needs us, man. Yes. Earth crying out right now. The earth is a living thing. Didn't the scripture say the earth is getting weaker through yeah, each age? age. Yeah. And wickedness is multiplying. Yeah. So in order for the earth to reach its full increase again, you need righteous rulership. The, tr earth. the true build back better. All right. The true carpenters, man. The true carpenters did a video. The true carpenters, man. And the nations are scared to death. They were scared to death back then. When you go into Nehemiah and Ezra's, we yeah. went into the history. Yeah. When they were building, they kept trying to hinder. Yeah. Right? Chapter. Because they didn't want uh, us having our connection back with our power. Yeah. It's the same thing playing out again. They're trying to hinder it. Yeah, they're trying to hinder And what happened, it's not a physical temple anymore. It's the brothers coming together. See, and Esau, he can't he can't track the Rakakwa Dodge. It's hard, man. That's why you try to price sin like an agent. Yeah. You know, try to overthrow. Oh, he, like a lot of some groups set up to just be false prophets. To bring forth confusion and doubt. You know? That's not going to work. Yeah, you, you, got, you guys may found out right now. Because what do the scriptures say? Like uh, one body of Shatan. Yeah. We've been knew you wasn't right. Let's go over there. Real quick. If it was possible, if it was possible, they should what? Receive the very only link. But it's not, it's not possible. We knew that nigga was never right. Yeah. My man said Hitler was a black man. <laughs> Alexander the Freak. Niggas said Alexander the Greek was an Israelite. Herod. That nigga sick as hell, There's boy. There's no chariots. Where the hell you come from, man? We knew you was never right, man. He, he went through training. He had, he had, he had training. Because yeah. you think about the movies with the Barack Obama, uh, uh, that TV show that came out with the Wu-Tang. They had the Israelites teaching. And they, they, they sounded like Israelites. Read that. Give me this. Read that. Read. So this dude got training, man. Acting classes. The acting. He had the real. You know, when someone gets to a role, they watch the video. So he probably watched a bunch of videos of One West, how he used to teach. He said, I'm going to teach this way. I'm going to do like this. Said, right, man, go, he was an go, IUIC. Go. Yeah. He, so go. Go join a group. Then after that, whisper in brother's ears. Split from that group. Bring some with you. And, and we won't start. We won't, we won't, we won't build. Because you were Satan, man. Okay? That's why your shit grew so fast. You were Satan, man. Man, you started pulling up, you know, one body got a little, got a little buzz. You cursed out vocab. And now you're on vocab, agreeing with vocab. You a demon. The most I don't kill niggas like you, man. We're not, yeah, the most I preserve is vocab. Uh, Haman, right? From Macedonia. See? He's we're trying to accuse us right now. Yeah. Accuse us of brethren. He wanted to get rid of us back then. He gonna fall in the, the, the same gallows he got lined up. He gonna fall in that, man. Yeah, for them elites that he doing this bidding for, they gonna put him to death too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, what's my what's my payment, man? I miss my payment. Fuck with your payment, man. We bringing forth the cyber attack. We bring forth the you know. Yeah. Now you people to where I go with bunker do I sign? You you ain't get no bunker, man. You know? Tell what you. You know you know what the top family of banging families. You ain't part of this little uh, cabal that we yeah. have going on. Yeah. You're done. Vocab, you finished, man. And that's all he talked. Like he didn't bring a. He didn't talk about T.D. Jakes yet. Did he even know T.D. Jakes? He ain't talking about T.D. Snakes yet. He ain't talking about P. Diddy. This nigga's wicked, man. But anything about the Israelites, you want to bring it up. He bring things in the past. Remember that dude that fell out, bugged out, killed his family. Like, bro, that nigga was a demon at the day. And they cursed him out before. Before he even did yeah. that. 
the video was up. The spirit of that Lord had it. Yep. Where the brothers had the video up. And yep. they refre referenced it. Yeah. yeah, this is the video where we cursed them out yep. at this time. Yep. And the brother said in the video, you a wicked dude, you carnal. They said it in the video, they'll yeah. curse them out. And the brother played the video. Like, it was like, it was like 2011. They kicked him out. Yeah. And the brother was saying in the video, there's a guy in the camp with this X, Y, and Z. They gave his name. They said, the dude is carnal. Long and behold, he killed his family. That's why the spirit ousted him back then. Because he wasn't right. Right? The most I cast him out the body back then. Well, several of not of Yahweh Shai is going to get cast out. Right? This scripture, this is not for carnal guys. You carnal, tough guy. You like to fight. You like to be violent. This is not for you, man. Okay. Right? If you don't change, the spirit going to weed you out, man. Okay? What you got? That was a Yeah, so, like we were saying, um, you know, agents, uh, actors, you know, 2024 are going to be, yeah, a lot of you going to be uh, revealed. Okay. Not only the left hand gonna get exposed, a lot of you niggas pretending to be prophets, you're gonna be revealed as well, man. Alright, what you got? Preset, it's the book of um uh, I think I know it's in Luke. I think it's uh Dead in the Dark brought to light. Twelve and two, yeah. Lord revealing everything, man. Beautiful hand about TD Stakes. You're not done yet. I'm waiting for more dirt to come back. <laughs> oh, Mr. Power Bottle, man. Oh, man. Niggas wicked as hell. You probably had a. Uh, yo, man. That's, your, that's what the male escorts called you, man. Yo, that nigga. Yo, man. You niggas are crazy, man. Crazy, man. Nasty. You nasty, man. And then you going to get on your um, private plane and go and teach the people on Sunday, man? You gotta get judged, man. You gotta get judged, man. You, you went too far to the left, man. I ain't talking about if it was true, all I have to do is repent. You don't know who the Most High is, man. All right, what you got? Luke chapter 12, verse 2. For there is nothing covered that shall not be revealed, neither hid that shall not be known. Mm. Therefore, whatsoever ye have spoken in darkness shall be heard in the light. Nothing that's hid is, is not going to be known. Everything going to come out. Truth was hidden for a long time. That's coming out. All the wicked deeds, the left hand, they be revealed to. Right? Everything's gonna come out, man. Before the Most High close the curtain on his place, everything gonna be revealed. What you got? A little more. It says, "And that which, and that which has spoken in the air in closets, shall be proclaimed upon the housetop." Yeah, which we, we're complaining the truth right now. This is the rivers and high places, man. Right? That's Isaiah the 41st chapter, man. The truth, let's get that second is 628. It said the truth that have been so long without fruit have been declared. Let's get that. Yeah. Second Ezra chapter 6. In uh verse should we take a point? Second Ezra chapter 6, verse 28. As for faith, it shall flourish, corruption shall be overcome, and the truth which have been so long without fruit shall be declared. That's happening right now, man. The truth is being declared, man. He, 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 it's in that same chapter. He opened up the firmament. Right, which is the satellites, which is the internet. The truth is is, is uh, global. Right? We don't got to do it IUIC doing taking trips across. We don't got to do that, man. The truth does all that, man. The internet does that. Okay, you doing all that. Like Yahweh Shai said, you guys um, come past and land and see to make one proselyte. And you ain't even teaching them the right name, man. All right? Anything more you got? I had a precept for you to say. Psalms 19 and verse 1. To the chief musician, a psalm of David, the heavens shall declare the glory of the Most High, and the firmament shall show of his handiwork. Yep, yep. Which, physically, yeah, the Lord's Most High got the sun, the moon, and stuff. But we're talking about the yeah, truth now, too. All right, go ahead. Yep. Verse 2. Day unto day utter speech, and not unto night show of knowledge. There is no speech nor a language where their voice is not heard. Their line has gone out through all the earth. There you go. The truth has gone out throughout all the earth. Because that's the prophecy. The gospel of the kingdom, man. 
It has to spread everywhere before the end shall come. Now, like we said, if Christianity and Islam was the truth, the end would have came already because both those religions are global. That's not the truth, man. Who's the Lord waiting on? The one for four. Man. That's how we see that number all the time. That's who he's sealing. 12,000 12, from each tribe. And they're men. Right? Then the destruction. That's Not it. no female judge, man. Out of order, man. That's what y'all pounced on, man. <laughs> yeah. Got no business being up there judging nothing, man. Giggling, thinking shit is sweet. Stinging funny, man. Making shit funny remarks. Make being smart, be condescending. But nah, you, you're going to get a taste of something else. And the spirit of the Lord had triggered him. It's this bullshit. And he just ran up there and he just pounced. Perfect leap, man. Yeah. Could have been an Olympics. Yeah, you know what I mean? Perfect, man. Like we said, he got 0.000002% of the power right there. He fucking pounced on that bitch, man. Just ground and pound ass, man. Yeah, the brother said, he had it. Yeah. But he had a good 10 seconds, man. Yeah, yeah. You watch the video, he was on the floor for a minute. You didn't see her pop up and run away. No, she was on the floor getting rocked. He was being rocking her elbows. You know, he was choking her out. Punch her wrinkly ass face. Hold that. Grabbing her hair. her hair up. The security guard trying to grab him. You see that other clerk, he like... Yeah, 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 yeah. in a bad... He's like he had a fight a day in his life. Yeah, you know what he was doing. He punched with his thumb, his thumb out. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He just looking stupid, man. A little more says, And there were words to the end of the world, and them have he set a tabernacle for the sun. That was the point. Like he pulled it. Side, man, so the true fans went out. Right? Like we said, they, they, when you go into the internet, they said that was one of the worst things created. One of the Rockefellers said, I think it's, uh, Jay, one of the Rockefellers said it. He said that was the worst thing created was the internet. Okay? Because a lot of this, they created really to spy on the people. Well, a lot of their secrets got revealed, and above all, the truth yep. got revealed, man. Yep. Okay? It was, it, and it makes sense that they would want to spy on the people because they had a newer order agenda. And they also need to know if it was against them. They put people in groups. Put people in groups. But in the process, they got revealed. They got revealed. See? You can't control everything, man. So like we saying, saying they bringing out this NWO now and this great read. They think they're going to control things. Shit going to spiral out of control. That scripture says, as he's setting it up, the war is going to escalate. All right? He shall be in many straits. He's going to be in many straits. His own people going to come up against them. We talked about the civil unrest sedition. They uh, uh, exposing each other behind the scenes. Right? Because Democrat and Republican, they all part of similar brotherhoods, but they're against each other on certain things, man. Because Biden and Trump both work for the elite. See, but Trump might be against certain things the elite want to do. So there's a friction right there, man. Because why? The C-19, they, they were talking about that before that, the Klaus Schwab, blah, blah, blah. And he's the one who brought for Operation Warp Speed. But then he realized he started talking out against it. He started coming up against this guy, um, Fauci. Right? And he said, nah, no more lockdowns, man. I'm not with this lockdown shit, man. This is bullshit, man. I'm not with this, man. Right? And then it was like, oh, oh. The crowd was like, remember, it was like, fire Fauci. Fire Fauci. And he said, yo, let's wait till after the election. <laughs> <laughs> Trump yo, yo, Trump guy. is a character, man. You know? So that was what? That was friction. See? So like we said, like, behind the scenes, they get, so they expose and go back and forth. So this whole shit going to get out. It's going to get crazy, man. All right, what you got? He said, Matthew 24 and 14. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come. Then shall the end come. All right, which is the end. This is the end. All right, this is the end. All the pieces are perfectly in place. It's, we just waiting for the most out of the movie. That's it. Everything in place. Prophets waking up. Uh -huh. The MOTV is already here. Neuralink for you, IUIC, talking about the brain.
why they don't need to 